Hey guys, Hayden here again from Alarm System Store, and today we're gonna to be talking about a common trouble that most people will see on their alarm system, and that is the AC trouble. And the AC trouble is basically an indicator that your system is not receiving the proper input voltage. So anytime you have an alarm system, um, you will have basically a transformer plugged into a wall, and that is gonna be where your input voltage comes from. So this is plugged into an outlet, and then you have a wire running from the transformer into the panel. Now most panels, uh, if they're hardwired systems, will have a setup like this, where you have two AC terminals on the left side of the board, and those are where your input voltage goes in. Now, this particular system is a DSC Neo, so I'm going to be showing the troubles showing up on the DSC Neo, but this applies to pretty much any alarm system out there, so if your system um, happens to have an AC trouble, it may show it a bit differently. Um, it might not show AC trouble, it might have a, a different name entirely, um, but it should indicate some sort of power outage. Um, so essentially, um, with this transformer here on the DSC Neo, what we use is the PTC 1640 transformer. And that is a 16.5 volt, 40 volt amp transformer. Now what this does is it transforms the power from 110 volts out of your outlet down to about 16 and a half or slightly higher volts. And that goes into your panel. Now the panel from there actually converts it to DC power. And that's what all of your actual alarm system devices use like your keypads, your motions, so on and so forth. But this AC input voltage is what powers the system up, and it is also um, what keeps your battery charged, and that, that just provides power to the whole system. So right now, um, as you can see, I got the transformer unplugged. My system is running solely on battery power right now. And that is the, the idea behind the backup battery. It just allows your system to keep running for a period of time after you have lost your AC voltage. Now, generally, that's only gonna apply to like power outages and things like that, where it's kind of temporary. Um, but in some cases, you may actually run into a problem with your AC transformer or the wire connected to it, or perhaps even the outlet. So here in a couple minutes, I'm gonna run over how to troubleshoot that. Um, let me show you on the keypad real quick what an AC trouble looks like, since I have one. So if you hit your star two menu, that's gonna bring up the trouble menu on the DSC Neo. Now, other systems will likely have some other method of showing troubles, but on the Neo, what you're gonna see is press start of view AC trouble. If we hit star there, it's gonna say AC trouble system area. And that is because it is talking about the main board of the system. So this transformer is powering the main board, which is also known as the system area. Now, you will also see other troubles that will show up under that AC trouble section. If you happen to have a power supply for your system, like an HSM 2204 or 2300 on the Neo, that is an extra power supply that just provides additional power for devices on your system. Now generally, you'll only see those power supplies if you happen to have like a lot of keypads or a lot of power devices like motions and glass breaks and things like that. Uh, but essentially, if you happen to have those, you will also see troubles for those and what you'll see is you'll see AC trouble, HSM 2204, one, um, yeah, I think you can have four of them on the system. So it will actually indicate whether it's the main system, whether it's a power supply, and if it's a power supply, it'll tell you which one as well. So if you happen to run into an AC trouble, um, there are a couple things you can do prior to diagnosing the system itself um, that might help. First, just make sure that your house has power. That one's pretty quick. Uh, just flip on a light switch, if light comes on, you're good. If not, then your house has an outage and you'll just need to wait for it to subside. And if your house does have power, the next thing to check would be the breaker that controls the outlet that the transformer's plugged into. So hit your breaker box, um, open it up, and just double check the breaker that is connected to this outlet and make sure that it is not tripped. Now, if you happen to have power to your home and none of the breakers are tripped, that's when you can start diagnosing the actual system and the transformer itself. So what we're gonna use to do that is a voltmeter. Let me get this turned on real quick. Now, there might be some people out there that do not have a voltmeter, but I highly recommend getting one. They're very cheap. Um, 
you can usually get them like 10, 15 bucks. Uh, they might not be the best in the world, but if you're just checking AC voltage like we are here, it can be very handy. So what we're gonna do first is we're actually gonna check the main board, uh, the two AC terminals that I mentioned earlier. So what we wanna do is we wanna start at the main board, but we wanna work our way back to the transformer because it could be a wire issue, could be a transformer issue, or it could be an outlet issue at this point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two leads and we're gonna to touch them to the two AC wires that are going into your panel right here. And if you look, um, we should have around 18 and a half volts. Yeah, 18.4, a little over 18.4. So that is perfect. Um, actually with this transformer, even though it is a 16 and a half volt transformer, you generally do get about 10% extra power out of the transformer. So it's a 16 and a half volt. If we're getting 18 volts, 18 to 18 and a half, that's perfect. Um, if you happen to see anything less than 18 volts, then you may have a problem, but if it's still above 16 and a half, then you should be fine. That particular transformer might not be providing that extra 10% or so that most of them get. If you happen to see less than 16 volts though, that is a problem. So now we need to start tracing back to the transformer and figure out where the problem lies. So to check the transformer, all we're gonna do is leave it plugged into the outlet. Um, you can use a power strip for this if it's easier for you, but essentially we need to check the two AC terminals that are on this transformer. So right here, you'll see them labeled AC, AC, and then most of them will have a ground. You can ignore the ground if you're working with an alarm system. Uh, the ground is for general AC applications that use three wire alarm systems, just use two. So what we're gonna do is take those leads and we're gonna touch them to the two screws under here that our wires are connected to. Now, at this particular point, you don't have to be worried about any getting shocked or anything like that. Um, 18 volts at this amperage is so low that you won't even notice it. But essentially, we just wanna make sure that we are getting our 18 and a half or so volts out of the transformer itself. So. In the scenario where you have voltage at the transformer, but you do not have voltage at the panel, that 18 and a half volts, that means you have a wire problem. So what you need to do is you need to replace the 18 gauge two conductor wire that is connected to the transformer and the system. That should fix the issue and you should be good to go from there. However, if your transformer is not showing above 16 volts, then you could have a transformer issue or potentially an outlet issue. Um, one thing I've noticed is if these transformers get shorted, essentially they slowly lose their ability to transform power. So if it gets shorted, it's not going to immediately show that zero voltage. Um, it will show voltage on it, and if you watch it, it will slowly decrease over time. If it is slowly dropping like that, most likely the transformer is shorted. So in that scenario, I would recommend replacing the transformer and the wire to make sure that the short doesn't happen again. Outside of that though, that's pretty much all there is to AC troubles on an alarm system. Now, like I said, you could have other modules, you could have multiple transformers. Um, each power supply has its own transformer and its own battery. So you'll see troubles related to those um, for each unit. So uh, just one thing to keep in mind is, you know, check the simple stuff first, make sure that the outlet that you're working with has power, plug a lamp into it, flip the light switch. Um, if it does have power, but you're still running into issues, you can run through the diagnostics that I showed you here just a minute ago. And if you happen to need a new transformer, you can get these 1640s on our site, alarmsystemstore.com, without much trouble. I think they're about $17. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, is not all alarm systems do use that same voltage. So double check the actual rating of your transformer to make sure that it is a 16 and a half volt or somewhere in that area. And that is pretty much all there is to the AC trouble. Um, there's, there's not a whole lot to it. Essentially, you just need to make sure that your system is getting power. Um, those are the things to check if you're running into AC troubles on your system though. And that way you can diagnose where the problem lies and fix it accordingly. If you guys are on our YouTube channel, um, if you don't mind, leave a like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And if you're on our website, check out the rest of the troubleshooting videos we have there. Um, I've done a whole troubleshooting series on the DSC Neo in particular, and I've done a lot of other videos as far as installation and you know changing out sensors, things like that. We even did a panel swap, I think a couple years ago. Um, but essentially, 
Uh, we have lots of information for you guys out there. So if you want, check it out. Um, this is more aimed at DIYers or people that are just looking to solve problems themselves without having to pay for a truck roll and that whole bit. So um, hopefully these videos are beneficial to you. And if you happen to want to see a particular type of video or have a particular question, feel free to reach out to us at alarmsystemstore.com. Or if you're on YouTube, leave us a comment and uh, we'll go from there. Other than that, I will catch you guys on the next one.